such an honor for all of us to be here and watch this. Hannah, I've known you since you were this tall. You have turned into a wonderful woman, and we thank the Lord for it. God honors your faith and brings you two into union together. You're the type of girl every young boy dreams to find one day. It still amazes me every day how I was fortunate enough to find that girl I used to dream about. Your bubbly personality and big heart that makes everyone smile and feel loved. Your independent and go-getter personality, but to top it all off, absolutely gorgeous, which is what really stole my heart. I'll always remember that night when we first started dating, when we stayed up until 7 a.m. in the morning talking about all the things we wanted in our life, our favorite things, and childhood stories. That's the day I knew you were going to be in my life forever. One thing I admire about you is how giving you are. You're the definition of the mechanic that never fixes his own car because you're always helping others, always putting others before yourself. Your selflessness is one of the many reasons I fell in love with you. Past four years, you have not only been a girlfriend to me, but also a best friend. We always know how to have a good time, even if we're just dancing in the kitchen, even though you always yell at me for bending my knees too much, or just staying up until 3 a.m. and watching a new Netflix series together. Thank you for always being my safe place, my lifelong best friend, and for being the calm to my chaos. I truly can't believe how lucky I am to spend the rest of my life with a man like you. I'm honored leaving here today calling you my husband. You make me a better man, and I wouldn't be the person I am today without you. You have seen me on my good days and my bad days, but you have always been there for me no matter what, and I promise to do the same for you for the rest of our lives. Every second, every minute, every hour, every day, I spend with you I'm thankful for. Needless to say, you are my best friend, but today you're not only my best friend, you are my wife. According to the Word of God, lead my father in love. According to the Word of God, submit myself to you. I join myself to you. To be a husband to you. To be a wife to you. From this moment forward. We shall be one. We shall be one. By the power invested in me in the state of Virginia and also by the Lord Jesus himself, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And kiss your bride. I want Hannah to know that the first date Colton came home, I was still up, and he said, Mom, I'm going to marry that girl. And I looked at him and I said, can we have a second date first? And he said, yeah. He said, but I'm going to marry her one day. And here we are. One day, Hanny comes around talking about she wants me to meet somebody. Some dude by the name of Colt. First thing I say, well, what's he do for a living? He's a diesel mechanic dad. As a tradesman myself, the first thing I said was cool. the happiest I've ever seen. From the moment Hannah called me after your first date, I knew she was hooked. I mean, I hadn't heard her talk about someone like that since the day she got Mushu. And we all know that she loves that damn dog. <laughs> but after you survived three days, snowed into our college house with no heat and four other crazy girls, I knew you were a keeper because it's not easy to deal with the Hannahs. Not a 
found a better partner to face life's unknowns with. Anna is one of the sweetest people I know, and she has such a way with Colt. It's been great getting to know her, and I can't wait to see the life they put together. This is just going to be the girl that he marries. And so here we are today. We're celebrating their marriage. And I just want to say congratulations, you two. I love you both. And I know you're going to have an awesome marriage. So we toast to dancing under the stars and kissing in the rain. Our little brother, King Colton, has found his Cambodian queen.